Good afternoon. It's a uh, sunny, hot, muggy Sunday afternoon, and uh, this is Roland from East Marsh Acres, and uh, just uh, bringing you up to date as to what we're doing and uh, we're, what is the state of the garden. So this afternoon we're getting ready for another another move for the chickens. So they're over here beside the uh, furthest west garden plot. I'll go over there in a minute. So I've cut out a new section. So I basically uh, just whipper snip the, the grass um, so that we've got a another segment that the uh, the fence is going to be able to fit into. So moving around this particular area and then going back to where the fence is right now. Uh, so we'll end up with this segment here that you're seeing in the long grass being in the center and the chickens can do their thing on it for the next week or so. Um, next week we're getting ready to uh, uh, leave for a couple of weeks. Uh, Rachel will still be around but uh, uh, we will be heading to Europe. Uh, I've got a conference and uh, we're going to be taking a little bit of vacation and so we'll be moving the chickens out into this area next week uh, so that they've got basically new territory to uh, to work on uh, on a weekly basis. And as you can see, so the uh, the space that they moved into is very similar to what you're seeing here, but look at what they've done to it in the week that they've been here. So we moved them here last week, Monday, and much of the grass has been diminished in terms of its... Uh, yeah, density, so it's much, uh, it, it's been brought down. They've eaten some of it, um, and uh, a lot of it, you'll actually see them scratching into the ground itself, uh, looking for insects and worms. We've had a little bit of rain over the last little few days, and as a consequence, the ground becomes much um, easier to work, and so they start digging into the ground. And it's been a little bit warm, so you can see one of them underneath there is uh, uh, hiding from the sun, getting themselves cool. You'll see them uh, occasionally with their wings out to the side, and uh, that's an indication that they're a little on the warm side, so they need to have some respite. And so we give them lots of water and some shade. So that's what the shade cloth's all about. All right, let's get into the, what we've got in the garden at this point in time. Beat through the, the uh, undergrowth. And here you can see we've got zucchinis coming. Those ones are a little on the small side, but these ones are blooming. Uh, I don't see any fruit yet. And then we've got various squashes from here on. You can see that they're being joined with lamb's quarter. This is lamb's quarter, which you can eat sort of as a salad. Uh, we tend not to because it's not on our menu at this point in time. Maybe we'll have to start it because it grows so proficiently, proficiently here. But uh, lots of different kinds of um, squashes here and then res uh, strawberries. So here is a beautiful strawberry. I'm going to pick that one. There's some, some more coming and you can see the the um, asparagus growing up in between it and lots of lamb's quarter. Here's another strawberry. That's essentially what I was looking for. That's not bad. i to pick that one too. There's more coming. There's strawberry there, some strawberries over here, we've got to do a little bit of weeding. And so this is Celerac, it's getting quite large. Uh, more squash, and here are, so that's uh, uh, going to be rhubarb, it's getting, getting fairly substantive as well. Here's some smaller rhubarbs that are supposed to be around here, so you can see them. There, that's this one, and this is a rhubarb as well. 
and there's some smaller ones over here too. Don't know if they're going to make it. These are supposed to be um, watermelons, I think. Don't know exactly. And then there's some other squashes down here. Next row, potatoes. Potatoes are doing well, starting to come along. And then the beans. So you see the beans along the outside. And the peas at the end. Peas are taking their sweet old time. Maybe that's why they're sweet peas. Anyways, poor attempt at humor. So these beans are starting to get to the point where they're going to start growing up the, uh, the chicken wire that you see here. And some of them have already started doing that. So these are the purple ones. And they're growing up alongside. Rach, you want one of the first strawberries? I'm going to give the other one to Mom. Looks like you jumped the gun a little bit there. This one's pre pretty good. And this one is perfect. Nice. I see where I stand in the pecking order. <laughs> well, so... Uh, mm. nice and sweet. Mm -hmm. So here we've got carrots. You can see them coming. Carrots along this row, the top of the hill. You go too fast, I can't see that. The entire row. And then we've got red cabbage. So you can see the red cabbage here. And then white cabbages and pak choy, I think at the end of the big leaves. And then you see the onions in the next row over, interspersed with a few potatoes still. This is a potato plant. There's a potato plant. We'll have to pull them a little bit. And then we've got in the outside row, so these are red onions. And then there's a few scapes from... I was hearing you should let them do one curl first before you pick them. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, these are voluntary anyway, so... I'll let these... There's uh, quite a number over here. Like there, see that one, that, the one curl? This one? No, right. Keep going a foot up from that one? Well, cut it from down below. You're actually supposed to be able to pull them out. Yeah, but... <laughs> like that. So here's, here's like one. Weed that's like taking over. Right here specifically. What was that? There's this weed that's like taking over. Yeah. And of course it's like the most impossible one to... To pull out? So the, uh, the garlics are coming. We can use these scapes. Uh, so you fry them up and you can put them in whatever you put uh, garlic in. They've got a very, very nice, fresh, garlicky taste to them. But they're very... Uh, tender as well. Anyways, so let's go and see what's going on inside the hoop house because that's where the main action is. What is this? Uh, that looks like a sunflower to me. So that'll prim primarily be, I think, a voluntary one. Beating our way through the jungle into the hoop house.
Does that mean that you're almost done, Trish? This row, Rachel, about a third of that row. Okay. Uh, so here's a treat for you. Cucumbers are not done yet, or are they? What? Yeah, they're done. As much as I can. I don't know. Ooh, ho, ho. Wow. That's the best out of the two. Mm. Rachel got the other one. Um, so you want to show what they're mm. what you're doing? Mm. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm clipping up the cute uh, the tomatoes. Um, so these haven't been clipped up at all. So I'm so these are the the clips that I use. Now you stick the um, string in that in that section and then clip it around and then clip it so then it's close and then we're um, yeah that one comes out which one that one this whole one yep really yep mm -hmm. um i've been taking mostly off and the bottom one. well you can go through and yeah. correct what i've done or haven't or just go through but i'm taking mostly off the bottom so they're getting air circulation on the bottom but these are look at the look at the blossoms on these these are those uh well, the wonder berries wonder berries <laughs> and there's actually berries look at oh okay like there's actually little little berries coming here so love to see what they're like mm -hmm. i don't think you eat them green you gotta wait till they get turn purple yep and then there's eggplants or few of them are gone but there's some cucumbers good so um, they are being yeah I think I'm gonna do some pollination but like you know. that one be flipped again yeah. so some of these are getting quite high they're what four feet high or so yeah like it I tried to they've got them going all over the place like but, Oh, where was the cucumber? Where was one? Well, there's one. And it's one of these bigger ones. Oh, here's a cucumber. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Now Rachel's going to have to keep track of them. Because they're coming along. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch over to the other and see what I can do about these uh, tomatoes. You get the gist of where we're going though on this Sunday afternoon. Okay, it's almost 7.30, so uh, I'm uh, heading out. Uh, we didn't get everything finished in this one row here, basically is uh, ready to go. And this row up to the pail from the end moving this way uh, is completely done. I think these are tied up here, but they need to be pruned a little bit yet. 
Uh, so I'll do that tomorrow. But essentially, cucumbers and tomatoes and the peppers. I don't know about on this side. The peppers on this side haven't been doing all that well. They're pretty small. They're still alive, but pretty small. All right, so let's see what they're up to uh, in the next week or so before we head head out. But uh, things are looking pretty good. And uh, yeah, the chickens are going to be moved tomorrow morning. So we'll, um, I don't know if I can get the camera out tomorrow morning, but uh, I'll see if I can and show you what we're doing. So it usually happens at around six o'clock when they're still in the chicken chaw and uh, they're uh, all contained at the, that point in time so we don't have to do any chicken rustling um, and uh, we just move them in the chicken chaw and then once the the fence is established we just open it up in the new location um, and they're happy uh, to be moved over even though they typically will give us a little bit of complaints um, in terms of uh, how long we're taking, uh, etc. But uh, I think we can put up with uh, chicken complaints. Um, anyway, so I'm signing off and I'll post this video uh, tonight, I think, if I get a chance to edit. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye.